Hi you guys, so I came to do my 35 week update pregnancy um update. I know it's been a long time, but I had just been extremely tired, lazy, and whatnot, and I just haven't had the energy to make videos nor edit the videos that I need to be uploading. But anywho, today I turned 35 weeks, which today is the 28th of August. And I have 36 more days to go, which seems like two or three days to me because time is flying by so fast. But, um, what day it was? Wednesday I went to the doctor. I got work in because I had a lot of pressure in my private area. My hips were hurting really bad. My pelvis was hurting really bad and just felt like something was gonna fall out the bottom of me so she um worked me in for appointment at three and i had went in around around 10 something that morning so by three by the time three came i was feeling a little bit better and she just said all of that pressure and stuff was normal that just mean that the baby's dropping and it's getting close to time for me to have him and um my blood pressure was good she said my weight was good and that was about it so had a little scare with that and i think that just happened because my mom had been telling me for like three weeks to pack my hospital bag and i still hadn't packed it so when that happened she told me they was gonna work me in at three i went ahead and packed my bag just in case i had to go to labor and delivery or whatever so that was that um far as as far as new symptoms, the only symptoms like I like I said that I've been having is hip pain, pelvis pain, and pressure in my vagina. That's basically about it. And besides, all I want to do is eat and go to sleep. Like literally, I will get up at ten. Um, I take my husband to work at eleven thirty. I'll eat, and I'm in the bed. I get up around two something, use the bathroom, eat back to sleep and i get up around five do the same thing and then by seven i'll be up because i have to cook dinner and stuff so then i'll be right by the time my husband get home at eight so that's been typically my normal routine as far as the itching i still itch but it's only if i get really hot or my skin gets extremely dry then i excuse me then i'll itch Um, as far as cravings, I've been wanting to eat ice cream, and I'm still hooked on the, um, Yo Burst watermelon yogurt, frozen yogurt, but I typically just want it in ice. Um, I have always been anemic, and my iron has been great since I've been pregnant. I take, my prenatals have iron in them, and then sometimes I take iron supplements, but it's just eating cold things like ice and then like the little icy and ice cream i kind of been into that type of thing and ham sandwiches ham and cheese sandwiches with ham cheese mayonnaise mustard and pickles i have been eating a lot of that and yogurt i've been eating a lot of yogurt so that's kind of my new things as far as the baby Oh my goodness. He is so active. I have been so uncomfortable. And sometimes I think he does it on purpose. Like this morning. I had just got out of nowhere. Just got this craving to eat some pancakes. And I told. Blah, 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 blah. I told Jay I didn't feel like getting up and cooking no pancakes. We was going to have a hot pocket. Before I went to Walmart. And he kicked me like really hard. And I said I told you I'm not making no pancakes. And he kicked me again. And it hurt it. So I'm like, whatever. So I got up and made Jay some pancakes. We had a few pancakes. And after I ate that, I guess he went to sleep. Because he didn't bother me no more until after about almost two hours in Walmart. But, yeah, that's, I guess, that's it really for the, the pregnancy stuff. I had a surprise baby shower last weekend. Was it last weekend? I think it was like the 22nd or 23rd, whatever. It turned out really well. It was nice. I got 
a bunch of clothes again and I got a stroller bottom warmer um wipes did I get wipes I don't know I got quite a bit of stuff and um my husband's aunt threw it which technically she's my aunt now too it was really nice I uploaded a few pictures from there on Facebook so if you're my Facebook friend then you kind of already seen them but it wasn't a lot I didn't get to film it because like I said it was a surprise I'm trying to show you guys my bump I still haven't taken maternity pictures I kind of just want to throw something on like leggings and like one of those little band bandeau tops and like a really cute statement necklace and put on some sandals and just go to my mother-in-law's house and take pictures out in her front yard like i'm over the whole glamour maternity generic pictures that everybody take with like the flowy gown that's up in the wind and all of that like i really just want to take some pictures before jay comes and i don't care if they're professional or if i just go out there and snap them and bay snaps them but i just want to get a few before the baby comes and i kind of didn't want to I, if my Lord have mercy, Jesus. I had wanted to cover my stretch marks on my belly when I took them, but my husband was against that. He was like, there's a lot of women who wish they had the stretch marks on their belly and that they could carry a child. There's a lot of women who can't have kids or have trouble having kids, so I should be proud of my stretch marks because he said he doesn't see anything wrong with them. He was like, that just goes to show him that I carried his child and... What not? I thought that was really sweet, and I never thought about it, you know, in that aspect. So when I take mine, I'm just gonna let my stretch marks be, let my stomach be, and if people are offended or if people think my stretch marks is ugly, then oh well, I really don't see no problem with them, and I'm not one that's really big on other people's opinions anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys my belly. My bump. I'm trying to see where Jay Jay is right here, right now. So that's where he is laying at right here, and he usually likes to chill right here. And at nighttime, he chills like up in here, like this part to be bulged out. Oh, my butt hurt. Whew. And baby Jay, oh, Jay's room is as finished as it's going to get right now. Um, I still haven't put up his crib because I can't. I had bought a crib off this Facebook swap and shop page. And it was missing a leg. And I had the crib for, I want to say, a month or two. And when we went to go put it up, I think, one or two, two weeks ago, we realized we was missing a leg. And I wanted my money back. But my husband just said it counted as a loss. So I don't know if we're still going to go to Lowe's. Sorry, y'all. I don't know, we're still going to go to Lowe's and um, try to get a leg made and do it that way. Or we're just going to buy a whole new crib. But I'm kind of thinking he won't need a crib. But his room is finished besides the crib. I will show you guys right now, but I have laundry on his bed. Well, like on, it's like a twin size, I mean a full size bed in here. That's technically Jay's. But I have laundry on it. So, I'm not going to show you guys right now. Because, like I said, I've been lazy. So, I got to do that. But, once I do that, then um, I'll come back and show you guys his room. Well, part of his room. I will keep you updated. I'll try to keep you updated on Instagram. Like, if I go into labor and all that. But, hopefully, he cooks to at least 38 weeks. I'm not in a rush for him to get here because... 
I'm still terrified of the whole pushing him out part. And I'm in no rush. So, but I will keep you guys updated on when he arrives. And that's about it. Oh, if you guys want to see what's in my hospital bag and what's in Jay's diaper bag, please leave that down below because I know this is like a makeup channel and everybody may not be here for that type of stuff. So, let me know if you want to see that. And thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next one.